Yo, what's up? It's Sea Dog here, aka Caleb Law One. Today I'm going to be reading a fan fiction, my fan fiction to be exact. Let's call it an Eldritch Abomination. The fuck up of all fan fictions. Well, without further ado, here we go. An immortal god and his destined ones. Disclaimer, I don't own Dragon Ball Z, Sekirei, or Ghost Nappa. They're all owned by their respective artists, ma anime companies. Ghost Nappa is owned by Team Four Star. Bastard author's note. If a day ever comes where I trip over a ridiculous looking rock and I'm forced to choose between either moving or losing my head to laugh at that rock, then I'll definitely choose decapitation for a good laugh. Hey, if I die, then I die. Besides, we're all gonna die someday, so eh. Whatever, at least I died grinning. Now, on to the first chapter. Bastard Author's Note 2, the sequel. Also, I wrote, typed, whatevered this story as a joke. Especially the first and second chapters. So everything wrong with it is 100% intentional. These first two chapters are basically what the inside of my head looks like on an average day. If this chapter offends any of the readers, then get over it. Say sup, XD. Bastard Author's Note 3. Revenge of the Bastard Author's Note. Why? My name is Jugum Jugum Shit Tossing the Life of Shin Chan's Two Day Old Underwear, Balmong Fezalion, Isaac Schneider, One Third True Love, Two Third Hangnail Anxiety, Betrayal Knows My Name or Does It Really, Ignore Calls, Squid, Dogfish, Halibut, Trout, Cod, Dogfish. This is a different dogfish. I'm talking about the Dogfish Shark, Kaluga Ray. Uteamio Kimiku Pepe 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 Runny Diarrhea Okay no seriously though enough with the Gintama references on to the story Chapter negative zero point zero 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 one Prologue Arrival Saiyan vs. Sekirei, and everything horrible in this world, all summed up in this chapter for your viewing pleasure. Goku had been watching over planet Earth for 3,999,999,373 of its 4 billion years in existence, eventually becoming an immortal, omnipotent god and gaining immortality from doing so, because he's edgy. It was concept to my groin's gingivitis, which no matter how mathematical it might sound off the top of my washing machine, was the truth of this, sis. My teeth are incest. He had no complaints in becoming a patronizing PANGAS! And he was a monoboob. Noob. Actually, the world had been safe from planet-destroying beings that had tried to flagellate men's, quote, flagpoles, unquote, for such a long time. However... None of them were fat enough to hit Goku with the exception of Cell's second form when he became a fat ass and blew himself up. Big boom make Arthur happy. Four shotguns for legs a vampiric elephant has. Captain Failure scared a bunch of pants and was a wang's excrement before he died insanely. Meanwhile, Spider Ma, aka Aunt May, dropped her spider suit's butt flap and started shaking her wrinkly old arse on national television in America. Everyone who was watching obtained gonorrhea and died instantly. My bullocks have bloody knives in them. Ah, my precious. A voluptuous ass drinking Dasani. Whew. About 2,000 years ago, failed off Hitler and the crack addict known as Abraham Lincoln's unidentifiable imaginary boulder, teamed up and fondled Germerica. <laughs> exploding Pigeons, a story of hope, shacks laundry, and exploding pigeons. A look of deep constipation appeared on my fecal matter until a baby turd popped out of it a few minutes later. Shitception. When Goku says his jobs, I think it's lols. On the day of the Passover, Michael Jackson said, this bread is my body. Take, eat. Oh, God, my bread flesh. It hurts so bad. Oh. <laughs> Rip. 
Billy, the salesman completely unrelated to the pedo singing rapist Mays. Billy Mays. <laughs> Eaten by bread crazed cannibals for your sins. The sound of a duck farting was then heard. <laughs> the floating, disembodied head of Princess Steve then hung a religious ball sack in the parking garage. A ferret's dick then detached itself from the animal's body before slamming into an, into an empire, thereby penetrating it and causing it to sink into the ocean. I inserted a cartridge into the slot of my sexual Nintendo. I'm going to eat a piece of toast now, Goku thought to himself. So he walked over to the toaster and placed a piece of bread into it. Thirty seconds later, it popped out of the toaster at a ridiculous speed and partially lodged itself in a Goku's skull. After a few seconds of silence, his eyes widened and crossed comically as he screamed in pain. <coughs> Toast, it wants to kill you. Otters. What in the hell are you two doing, you motherfuckers? A very old and familiar for those who have read and listened to the fan fiction, My Immortal. A voice shouted. Just then, a horny Teletubby, wielding a crow bar, a crowbar, and Dumbly Door, aka Dumbledore, appeared in front of Goku and said in a creepy, gruff male voice, "I'm a thirteen-year-old girl. Want a cyber? No!" A, ha a fat, hairy dude in a bikini wheezed out of an aquamarine horse rapist while shoving Goku's face into his ass crack and shitting, which Goku thought was deciduous, as opposed to coniferous, lols, as he devoured it with gusto. Oh my, I hope the children, he was cut off by a random sword that was flying through the air as it sliced his head off. At this, a random crowd of people in a random movie theater cheered and clapped vigorously as they excitedly shouted, Hooray! I'm sorry for the existence of number six. The devil sucks in my fireplace. Goku snapped his fingers, and the bikini-clad man's vaginal head returned. He then ate lunch with his genital hands. Genitor, genitals, pope, 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 Mr. Popo. <laughs> Goku screamed after a few seconds of silence while consuming chloroform before his head exploded into a thousand Reese's pieces. The liberals then invoked Santa Claus, and King George the Turd became an obtuse angle. Yah! The Teletubby roared in a fit of rage before putting Dumbbelly Door on its shoulder and shouting, Dumbbelly Door, launcher! Only your mom's smelly, maggot-infested carcass can eat a dong. There's no dick under her bed, just dick under her bed. Woo. Then elongate, elongated, fatty tears fell from my... Please insert one random word to continue. Bitch. <laughs> Anyways, then it, it then flung the headmaster of Hogwarts towards Goku and the man in a bloated Power Rangers bikini. When Dimple Dong's face... Touched them inappropriately, the sound of a squeaky toy was heard. The old geezer then made love to himself before vanishing back into the invisible horny Harry Potter phonograph that he carried with him at all times. He was then shagged by a magical hippopotamus and a fornicating spider. The man, who was sitting on Goku's face before it had exploded, was now making monkey noises as he started sliding down Goku's now visible spine by his ass crack. Suddenly, a new head shot up from Goku's spine, and the guy in the bikini was blasted into the air. He flapped his arms uselessly before falling onto a massive afro sea plant in the middle of hell. He tried to eat the plant, but he only ended up choking on hair follicles and dying. The devil then dressed him up like a maid and proceeded, proceeded to shove a pineapple up his arse. The Teletubby then slobbered on a male midget before laughing hysterically. As the Teletubby was laughing, it saw the midget stick his hand up his ass before pulling it back out, along with the guitar in 
its firm grasp. This caused the Teletubby to abruptly stop laughing. Oh no, the Teletubby mumbled before shouting and pain from being hit several times with a guitar. Oh, ow, ah, wah. That bloody act of violence was brought to you by Cheese, the number one cause of guitar-related violence everywhere. After the brutal beating, the Teletubby stood up and stared blankly at Goku, who returned it with a stare of his own. After a few moments of the staring contest, Goku hawked out a blob of acid onto the Teletubby's face. The Teletubby screamed from the excruciating pain it was in as its face melted until its skull was visible. Excellent! A fat zombie, which appeared as soon as the Teletubby's face had finished melting off, exclaimed before pulling a guitar out of his pants and playing the song Through the Fire and Flames. A sword-wielding skeleton, wearing a miniskirt, then started dancing. In the middle of the dance, the miniature head Robotnik popped out from the crotch area of the miniskirt and shouted, PANGAS! Then a nuke exploded. A few seconds after the explosion, a cooking pot fell onto the ground with a dull clang. In America, the Kraken emerged from the ocean. It quickly made its way over to the Empire State Building and started having sex with it. The building moaned and ejaculated out of its roof, killing a bunch of American people, a transsexual Islamic terrorist, and an alien. The alien, which had been disguised as a human before it was killed by the Ocean of Jizz, was then brutally violated by a horny species-confused priest carrying a mallet and a ball sack in a little plastic baggie. <laughs> However, one day in the year of 1999 A.D., an unnatural land formation seemed to suddenly appear out of nowhere in the waters of Japan. Big ballistic nut sacks are fuzzy to the constipation. While this usually wouldn't be any cause for concern, life forms that were significantly more powerful than any human in this time period had suddenly appeared on this new island upon its appearance. This island would eventually be known as Kamikura Island, and this island was an island. Silent. Woo. On top of that, the Saiyan originally felt the power levels were coming from inside of my mom's panties. Narf! How long has it been since someone from another planet has come here? C-U-M. Come. Goku mused idly at the current development, but he quickly turned his attention to a chicken that was choking its chicken on the island. Even though chickens are female and don't have male genitalia in the first place. Actually, hens are female chickens, but I just don't give two shits, lols. I think I'll keep my eyes on this new development, in case things go south. Goku thought to himself while teabagging the deceased Teletubby. After all, he was a protector of planet Earth and an all-powerful entity who loved chicken meat. Eat cultists of lol, my dong must. I made like a cactus to get an entire eyebrow out of my eye. Me stupid cave-dwelling dumbass. Me must take big dump on naked money. I use rat condoms and lard for welding bug rectums shut to keep Satan from infecting people. Ablar amigo oi mate. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? Samuel L. Jackson yelled in my face. No, I only speak Spanish and Japanese. Jackson facepalmed before yelling, You stupid, mindless, ignorant fuck. So I shoved a dancing banana up his arse. He screamed in pain before the banana, still stuck up Jackson's rectum, danced over to the Grand Canyon and jumped off, taking Jackson with it. Play the sad song, Only Time, by Enya. Rip, Samuel L. Jackson. Killed by a banana. Arr! Obama suddenly shouted while wearing overly large glasses with googly eyes attached by springs, abruptly cutting off the song. Gunther, Ding Dong Song, Zelda CDI style. Of course, ooh, you touch my squad a la. Mmm, my ding ding da dongo. Ooh, you touch my squad a la. Mmm, my ding ding da dongo. 
Deep in the night, night, I am looking for some toast. Deep in the night, I am looking for some spaghetti. De -de -de Deep in the night, I am looking for some toast. Deep in the night, I am looking for some pangas. You scrub me. Oh, please me. I want you to be my lamp oil. Come near me. Don't save me. I just can't get enough of you, my boy. Ooh, you touch my squad a lot. Mm, my ding ding da dongo. Ooh, you touch my squad a lot. Mm, my ding ding da dongo. Song end.